Imagine if you could zip around the universe at the speed of light, but what does that actually mean? Well, let's dive into it. The speed of light is a mind-boggling 299,792 kilometers per second. That's a number so large that it's almost incomprehensible, isn't it? To put it into perspective, if you're cruising down the highway at 100 kilometers per hour, you're moving pretty fast. You're covering a little over a kilometer every minute. But light? It covers that distance in less than the blink of an eye. In fact, it covers seven and a half times around the Earth in just one second. Now that's fast. Or, consider an airplane, which moves at an average speed of 900 kilometers per hour. At that speed, you could get from New York to London in about seven hours. But light? It would make that same trip 222 times in a single second. Now you might be wondering why can't anything go faster than light? Well it all comes down to Einstein's theory of relativity. It tells us that the faster an object moves the more its mass increases. And as it gets close to the speed of light its mass becomes infinite. This means it would need an infinite amount of energy to move any faster. So, light speed is the ultimate speed limit of the universe but that's not all. Einstein's theory also tells us that as we approach the speed of light, time slows down. Yes, you heard that right, time itself slows down. This is known as time dilation. So if you could travel at the speed of light, not only would you be incredibly fast, you'd also be a time traveler of sorts. So the speed of light is fast, really fast, but what if we could match it? Stay tuned to find out more about the mind-bending possibilities of light speed travel. So, the question on everyone's mind is, could we ever travel at the speed of light? As tantalizing as it may sound, our current understanding of physics presents a few formidable challenges we'd need to overcome first. At the forefront of these challenges is the requirement for infinite energy. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, as an object with mass accelerates towards the speed of light, its energy requirement becomes, well, infinite. That's a lot of energy. In fact, it's more energy than we could possibly hope to generate with our current technology. So, unless we discover a new source of limitless energy, reaching light speed is looking a bit unlikely. Now, let's assume for a moment that we've solved the energy problem, we're still left grappling with the effects of time dilation. Simply put, time dilation is the idea that time moves differently for an object moving at high speeds compared to a stationary observer. If you've ever watched a sci-fi movie, you're probably familiar with the concept. It's the reason you see astronauts coming back from space missions to find their loved ones aged while they've hardly aged at all. So, if we were to travel at light speed, we could potentially come back to an Earth that's hundreds, if not thousands of years in the future. But don't lose hope just yet. Theoretical physics does offer some potential solutions to these problems. One such solution is the concept of a warp drive, a technology that manipulates space-time itself to move a spacecraft. Instead of accelerating the ship to light speed, a warp drive would contract space in front of the ship and expand it behind, effectively moving the ship without breaking the light speed limit. It's a bit like riding a moving walkway at the airport, but on a cosmic scale. It seems like there are quite a few hurdles to overcome before we could travel at light speed, but what if we did? As we'll see, the implications are as fascinating as they are mind-boggling. So, let's say we've cracked it. We've figured out how to travel at the speed of light. What would that be like? Imagine, if you will, the world around you becoming a blur of light and color as you race through the cosmos at a staggering 186,000 miles per second. You'd be moving so fast that you could circumnavigate the Earth seven and a half times in a single second. Now let's talk about time dilation, an intriguing consequence of Einstein's theory of relativity. The faster you move, the slower time passes for you relative to the rest of the universe. So if you were to embark on a light speed journey, you'd age slower than everyone else. You could return from your space adventure to find that while only a few years have passed for you, decades or even centuries have passed on Earth. Next, there's the concept of distance contraction. As you approach the speed of light, distances appear to shrink in the direction of your motion. This means that even the vast expanses of space would seem much smaller. But hold on, it's not all smooth sailing. At such incredible speeds you wouldn't be able to stop or change direction easily. Plus there's the small issue of space dust. At light speed even the tiniest speck of dust carries the energy of a bomb turning harmless particles into deadly projectiles. And let's not forget the energy requirements. To accelerate anything with mass to the speed of light would, according to our current understanding of physics, require an infinite amount of energy. So, unless we discover a new law of physics, we might need to find a workaround. So, light speed travel might not be as glamorous as it sounds, but it sure is fascinating to think about. So, 
We've looked at the science, but what would light speed travel mean for us as a society? Imagine the seismic shift in our world, a world where the speed of light is not a barrier, but a threshold to cross. The very fabric of our social and cultural identities would be woven anew with threads of unimaginable possibilities. Let's start with communication. Today we think nothing of sending a message halfway around the world in the blink of an eye, but with light speed travel, we could potentially send messages across the cosmos, reaching out to distant galaxies. Our understanding of communication would be revolutionized, expanding our horizons to the farthest reaches of the universe. Now, let's talk about exploration. At present, our knowledge of the universe is limited by the speed at which we can travel. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of our own solar system, let alone the vast expanse beyond it. But by traveling at light speed, we could traverse galaxies in a matter of years, not millennia. We would become true explorers of the cosmos, pioneers on the final frontier. This brings us to our understanding of the universe. How would our perspective change if we could observe celestial events in real time from any corner of the universe? Light speed travel would allow us to witness the life cycles of stars, the birth of galaxies, and the mysteries of black holes. Our understanding of the universe would be transformed, shedding light on the darkest corners of our knowledge. But with these possibilities come profound questions. How would our society adapt to such a monumental shift in perception? How would our values, our cultures, our very understanding of what it means to be human, evolve in the face of such limitless potential? Light speed travel could change everything we know about the universe and our place in it for better or for worse. As we stand on the precipice of this brave new world we can only imagine the vast, uncharted territories that await our exploration. So, after all this, should we be trying to achieve light speed travel? Well, let's take a moment to revisit our cosmic journey. We explored the concept of light speed, a staggering 186,000 miles per second. We pondered the tantalizing possibility of traveling at such an unimaginable pace. The implications both thrilling and terrifying were then scrutinized. And lastly, we considered the profound societal effects, which like a supernova, could either illuminate or obliterate our current understanding of life. The pros of light speed travel are indeed enticing. Exploring distant galaxies, making contact with potential extraterrestrial life, and unlocking the mysteries of the universe are within grasp. The thrill of discovery, the advancement of knowledge and the potential benefits for humanity are beyond measure. Yet, the cons cannot be overlooked. The enormous energy requirements, the potential dangers to the human body, and the ethical and societal implications are daunting. The very fabric of time and space as we understand it could be distorted, leading to unforeseen consequences. But remember, scientific curiosity is not about reaching the destination right away. It's about the journey, the process of discovery, the thrill of exploration. It's about pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding, constantly challenging ourselves to learn more, to do more, to be more. So, should we be trying to achieve light-speed travel? Well, that's a question for the ages. But one thing is certain, we should never stop exploring, never stop asking what if. The pursuit of light-speed travel, like all scientific endeavors, is a testament to our innate curiosity, our indomitable spirit, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a journey filled with challenges and uncertainties, but also with incredible potential and endless possibilities. Whether we ever achieve light-speed travel or not, it's clear that the journey to understand our universe is just as important as the destination. So, let's keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Because in the end, it's not just about reaching the stars, it's about understanding our place among them.